so in this part of the lecture we will learn about the refresh option so what this refresh option does is basically it will refresh all your data so let's say if you have a particular data in your power bi and you want to refresh it let's say you uh, have the data updated now you want to update it in power bi also so in that case what we can do we can just hit refresh and that will refresh all the data that we have in power bi now by default if you click on this refresh option it will refresh all the data sets available in power bi now let's say we want to customize our refresh a little bit and we say that no i don't want this particular data or anything this particular data to be not updated when i click on this refresh option in the home tab so to do that what we can do we will go to this transform data option and then let's say for a particular data let's say for 2017 i don't want this 2017 to be updated when i refresh the power bi so what i will do i will just right click on this data and i will uncheck this option which says include in report refresh so i will just uncheck this option and what it will do it will not refresh the data set when i refresh the power bi now so I have actually unchecked for uh, some of the data also so I will just uh, you know uh, activate it again I will recheck this one for this one as well so you see for 2015 we have it you know uh, activated for 2016 also if I go you can see it's activated but for 2017 if I go you can see it's not checked now I will do close and apply and I will see if it is working or not okay now let's click on this refresh option and see what happens so I have clicked on this and you see here I have one two three four five data and here if you see one two three four five six so one data is missing and which one is it this is basically if you see here you can see the product lookup I can see the product lookup here uh, I can see 2015 here also it, it has 2015 then we have 2015 to 2017 here also we have it 2016 we have it but we don't have this 2017 option because you remember we have just you know told power bi to not refresh it when we refresh the whole power bi so that's it for this lecture see you in the next lecture